Hi everyone, Simon speaking, another video for you guys on YouTube. The time is 8.45pm in the evening. It's the 7th of August today, 2018. This is a historical video talk about the summer of 2017 compared to the summer of 2018 this year. So, here we go. Um, so you can see here, it, on the 3rd of June, it was 26 Celsius. Oh yeah. Then it was um, hot daytime temperature of 30 Celsius on the 17th of July. And a 32 Celsius on the 18th of July. Then it was a hot temperature of 33 Celsius on the 19th of July. 30 Celsius on the 20th of July. Cooled down a bit then. The, the next day, the big one. 34.4 Celsius on the 21st of June 2017. Crazy, isn't it? It says at the bottom down there, as you probably very well can see. Today in the UK, of southwest of London, that's where Surrey is, that's where my county is, we had a had one of the, the hottest days in June 21st since 1976. It was the 34.4 Celsius. We had one of the hottest Junes for 40 years that year, last year. Incredible, wasn't it? Incredible. So that was June 2017. Let's compare that to June this year. See what the difference is. So. As you can see, this is June 2018. Now, we had um, 23 sales on the 6th of June 2018 this year. On the 6th of June, 23 sales. We had the daytime high, daytime high of 23 on the 8th of June. So that's when it started warming up. Um, it wasn't until the third or second week. Um, the third week of June, it started getting hot. 25 Celsius on the 19th of July, 26 Celsius on the 23rd of June, 28 on the 24th. And here we go 25th of June, 31 Celsius, 26 of June, 31 Celsius, 27th, 31 Celsius, 28th of June, 20, 33 Celsius, and then it cooled down 22. 30, 30, 22 Celsius on the, on the 29th of June, 32 Celsius on the 30th of June. 31 Celsius in London on the 25th of June, Monday. 31 Celsius in the South Wales hit in Scotland, warmest June day in 23, 23rd on the 27th of June, Wednesday. So June 2018 was hot at the end, not at the beginning. For not in the middle part of it, not, not at the beginning like it was last year. June was, June warmed up, got hotter late, it got hotter later in June this year. So there you go. So, those are the Junes for 2017 to 18. Let's look at the Julys and see what the difference is there. This is June 2017. So, as you see, it's completely different. Some flowers that year, the highest one was 305 centimeters tall. So, let's go from 3rd of July, 25 Celsius, 4th of July, 25. Uh, 5th of July, 28 Celsius. 6th, 32 Celsius. 20, 30 Celsius on the 7th of, Ju of July. I mean, yeah. And then the 8th and the 8th of July, 27 Celsius. 25 Celsius on the 9th of July. 25 Celsius on the 10th of July. That was it for a while. Next one was 17th of July, 27 Celsius. 18th of July. 28 Celsius, and that was it. 19 Celsius on the 22nd and 23rd of July. 
my birthday, 24th of July. I'm not very warm at all. Thunderstorms, unfortunately. We had a thunderstorm um, at 1am in the morning on the 19th of July. There was more lightning than thunder and rain in it. So that year was very um, different and it was one degrees cooler, 1.1 Celsius cooler that July. Hey, it's July 2018, I'm about to show you now the difference here. This July is going to be a more acting patch than the last year's July, and I need by that, I need more action pat. There you go. So, you can see the sunflower this year, 320 centimeters, so it's 305, it's a lot taller. So, I think it's a lot more different this July 2000, and, um, and the temperature is 1.1 1. 1. Celsius warmer. So she allows me warmer this year. These are morning temperatures. So on the second of July, well, let's say the first of July, as you can see there. Well, second of July actually. Is. All right. Um, Thirty-one Celsius at Bournemouth. Twenty-six Celsius on the third of July. Twenty-four Celsius on the fourth of July. Twenty-eight Celsius on the fifth. Twenty-eight Celsius on the sixth of July. 30 Celsius on the 7th of July, 31 Celsius on the 8th of July, 29 Celsius on the 9th of July, 26 Celsius on the 10th of July, 28 Celsius on the 11th of July, 25 Celsius on the 12th of July, 13th of July, 24 Celsius, cooled down then quite a bit, then it started warming up again, 14th of July, 26, 15th of July, 30 Celsius, 32 Celsius on the 16th of July, 17th of July, it was 25 Celsius, cool down. That was cool cell. 18th July, 25. Caught that, halted up a little bit. 31 Celsius on the 19th of July. And then it was 22 Celsius on the 20th of July. Cooled down quite a bit. Halted up again. 26 um, Celsius on the 21st of July. 32 Celsius on the 22nd of July. And then 23rd of June, it was 20, 33 Celsius. 24th of July, 31. 25th of July, 20, 31 Celsius. 26th of July, 35 Celsius, that was a very hot day, that was a very hard, hard, hot, hard day to work in, very hard going, if you if you work outdoors, um, whatever job you do outdoors especially. Um, 33 Celsius on the 27th of July, and then it was, that was it really, 21 Celsius on the 28th of July, and it rained quite a bit, thunderstorms and stuff, you name it, quite a bit of rain, that saved our day, that did. So... That's that. We'll quickly look at the um, get it up quickly. Um, the um, what do you call it? The graphs. I'll show you guys quickly. So this is 2017 um, weather. It wasn't a very wet year, as you said. There was wet. There was wet January, a very wet May, a wet August. Okay, three, and then nearly another one in December. So it was moderately wet last year, but not that wet. Let's compare that to this year's one, 2018 summer, and I think so far this year. No, I think This year might have been wetter than last year, or it might have been drier. I'm not sure. You, have to add, you see these numbers here, but I have to add them up on your calculator and see which ones are the wetters. But there you go. So, this is the historical talk about the weather of 2017 summer and 2018 summer. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. May the force be with you. May the force be with you always. May the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. And subscribe to my YouTube channel when you can. Thanks for listening to Sun Adams. Goodbye everyone. Thank you. Cheerio.